Honduras follows El Salvador's lead in the list of nations worst affected by extortion in the Northern Triangle. An estimated $200 million was paid in extortion fees in 2015, according to estimates. And the Barrio 18 and Mara Salvatrucha street gangs are the main actors behind these criminal markets. The business sector suffers most, both formal and informal. Small shoemakers like these are the kinds of small and medium-sized businesses that could be paying as much as $60 million a year to the gangs. Some 20% of reported extortions are paid by the transport sector. A single gang can make upwards of $2.5 million a year by extorting taxis and buses. No major city is spared. In the coastal town of La Ceiba, hundreds of businesses have shut down over the years because of extortion. The phenomenon has grown on the backdrop of widespread corruption. Thousands of police officers have been purged from the institution in recent years, many for colluding with organized crime. As a result, few are willing to denounce the crime of extortion.